the wash, she's a little bit incapacitated. I thought we'd get the buckets out. Might as well drain her of coolant. Um, going by how wet the radiator still all is, I reckon it was leaking from multiple places. So not ideal. So we have a new radiator. So let's drain the coolant, and while we're at it, we'll drain the oil as well. And um, we can just let it sit there for ages and get every little last drop out, hopefully. She's due a good oil change. Filters, we'll do plugs because we're going to get that. We're going to also do the valve clearances, or we're going to check them at least. Uh, now is the time to do them. It's cold, it's greasy outside, don't want to be on the roads. So let's get all that done. So let's first get it drained. Start working on the coolant first. And I think for the plug on the side in the oil fields, it's probably best to put it on the side stand and then we can get a bucket under there because the center stand's in the way. And also it'll just help it drain. Gravity is your friend. So let's get, let's get coolant drained first, shall we? Even though they're always empty. The lowest point of the cooling system does appear to be this pipe here. So let's see how much of that pipe breaks as we try and get it undone. But you might want some fresh clamps, baby. Down to your vice grips. Shout out to Derek, vice grip garage in the Americas. You can't. Can't work on a vehicle without vice grips. Incredibly, that hasn't actually snapped. I mean, there's no head to it, but it has come undone. Chips and fire. Broke it. Well, at least it's not clamping anymore, I guess. Now, as the head's snapped off it, I think that is just leaking straight from the pipe. And that pipe is, wow. How did I? How did I not have a major coolant failure right on the road? I didn't buy a sight unseen, but it was pretty much was, you know, it was on eBay, I was like, yeah, I'll come get it. I'll have that, no problem. And the guy was nice, Mike, shout out to him if he's even watching this. But um, he had a lot of bikes, much nicer than this, so if I had nicer bikes, I guess the little ratty phaser would get a little bit neglected. That's the cap off. So that cap's got a zoom in on editing. This sort of uh, clamp that click onto that. You can probably still see, you can probably see it dripping there now as well. Oh, I'm gonna need another bucket. Good grief, this has so many leaks on it. Ah, there she goes. Finally, right. Well, I didn't expect to be this deep into this already. There we go. Oh, that's always a bad sound. I'll be honest, it's a bad sound. Go on, love. Go on. Go on. Come on. Oh, it's so rusty. Everything is so rusty. Come on, come on now. Give me some love. Love me. I love you. You love me. Lovely. I mean, she's stuck in there. Can't go. Thank you. But she's out. There's me thinking. Ten minute job. Just drain the coolant. Okay. Well, that tells you a story. Coolant bottle totally empty. Oh, hello. She does. These have no chance of ever coming out. Probably gonna have to drill those off if I want the end plate. Which I may or may not want them, I don't know. They're so they've been like hand painted at some point with some hammerite. They're pretty rough. I mean, we can get them back. We can get some shine back on them. Yeah. Get around there. You run the hook around. That breaks the seal on the pipe. So if you can't twist the pipe, that helps. Okay. First, which again, probably will snap. Or smash my knuckles into the headers. Oh, like that. 
Oh yeah. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah. Just like that. I think we need to order some hardware at some point. Because my life. There's a lot of rusty hardware. I think this is all original, to be fair. So this is all original from 2008. It's 12 years ago. And she's had 25,000 miles of all weather riding. We might reuse that because we're not using this stainless cover anymore because it's had waited 18 years, no, nope. just 18 months from China for a replacement. Um, a, a nice stainless cover. It was like this big, and it was for an FZ6 and FZ, and it was intended for this bike and this radiator. But obviously, I don't know if they measured it in centimeters and then cut it in millimeters or something, but my goodness, is it small. My goodness, do I stink. Oh dear, 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 dear. It's presuming. These will come undone, of course. Nope. Yeah, yeah, go. She listened. She snapped. There's one. So I think what you're what you're seeing here is how not to remove a radiator. Come on now. Come on now. Just no no no. Just either I'm undone or snap. No, I don't at this point. Mind. Which one? Ah, she went with the undone option. So there it is. She was leaking in a lot of places, particularly the end tanks. Oh dear. She was not in good shape. Quick. Kick him, kick him. Just. Okay, I'm in the way anyway, what you're seeing. This was just. An... Oh. oh, hello, darling. I've never seen you from this angle before. You come here often. Yeah. You know she works because I heard her running. Okay. So that will be a uh, refurb. Well, that's the radiator off. The idea was to try and get access to this here. What we're going to do is get a bit of plus gas, I think. Yeah, I am not touching those bolts in that head. They're not going to come out, are they? No. What will the welly capture on the welly stand? So oil filter, I think it's a 15, could be a 16. I expect most stuff uh, Japanese to be, well, not that size, but it does appear to be. Okay. I noticed that it's only aftermarket stuff that seems to have these really funky little nuts on the end. Which is quite handy, I suppose. Okay, that's pinned it loose. That's a 17 too, that's cool. Cool beans. Now, I've got to be careful here to just make sure this doesn't go everywhere. I know she's got some oil in her. She's not clean. Uh, it's mostly evens. You know, 16, 17, uh, 16, 18. Well, you know what an even number is. Right, so what we can do is we can just let that drain. The actual sort of uh, worm on it, if you like. If you call them a worm drive, I don't. But there we go. And that is the pipe. It's not in good shape, as you can see. Really not in good shape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure the angle, the sizes, and let's see if we can make one and of aluminium. Probably cost maybe a tenner left less in materials because they're 40 quid with postage, one of these. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is. Thanks for saying. Uh, but aluminium, I might get the two pipes for, for 20 quid maybe and a bit of my time, a bit of uh, argon. But I'll have honed my skills a bit because I'm not very good at welding. And it'll be fun. It'll be made of alloy. I like custom bits like that. Satisfying. Okay. Last pipe I'm going to off is this main pipe here, and then I'm going to call that a night. So, good night for now.